Ooh, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Shank is Intact. I am Patrick, and I am here with my wife, Jessica. We are out here digging this morning. Uh, Joe's a little under the weather, so he did not join us today. Uh, he told us to stay out of the two other new fields we haven't been in yet here. <laughs> of course, like, okay, yeah, dude, no problem. But uh, right here, I just dug a saddle rein strap guide and then a flat button, and then literally the next target was a hammered piece of silver. i um, guessing it's a cob. 100% um, silver. Look at that. Oh, I have to get it ID'd later, but I see enough detail on it to tell me that's a cob. So, super exciting. We haven't been here 15 minutes this morning. Hopefully we'll at least give it a few hours today. We brought leftovers from Thanksgiving for lunch. Can't wait. I got two turkey biscuits and cranberry sauce, and Jessica made two ham biscuits. So this should be a fantastic day. A little cold this morning. My toes are numb, but well, hopefully we get on to it. Jessica's not, uh, she doesn't like to carry a shovel because she's very little. So I'll be digging all of her holes. So hopefully she gets onto her first piece of silver today. Old silver. That's what we're hoping for. You can see she's uh, sniping in on where my detector is. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Jessica just called me over and she said, I hear something good, like 66, 67, consistent though. I popped the plug and it fell out of the plug and I said, oh, oh my gosh, a complete spectacle buckle. Look at that. That's probably 300 years old. That is unbelievable, babe. First good target here. First good target for you here, babe. What do you think? Awesome. Huh? Smile. Take a picture. Yeah. Beautiful. Just like you. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome. great? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. A little plow smacked, but that happens. All right, let's do this. Holy crap. Jessica goes, I've got an 83, 83, right? That's what it was. Yeah, 83. She's like, but I can barely, 82. She's like, I can barely hear it. I come over and listen for her. And I'm like, oh, babe, that sounds like a, you know, sounds deep. Well, I pop the plug super deep. And well, we just, I just seen it. Where is it? Was it this one? I think it was in this one. This oh, it's right there. Right it's there. right there. So there it is. I mean, that looks like a piece of cut silver to me because it looks like it stops there and it stops there. So, you want to open it, babe? Is it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is it your first piece of cut it silver? Is. Oh my god, and it's a big piece. Oh my gosh, look, she's shaking. <laughs> you can see she's shaking. You're addicted now. Holy crap, babe. Your first Oh, don't rub it too hard. You can you can scratch it. You can scratch it. We got to hit it with water. Oh my gosh, baby. Look at that. Yeah, well, well actually, it came right off, so that's yeah, it fine. Came right off it's yeah, it's a piece of the pie, probably a two reals. Two real. I don't see a date on it, but oh my gosh, babe, what do you think? That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow, honey. That is unbelievable, babe. We haven't been here an hour yet. Oh my gosh. I told you if it was out here, you were going to hear it. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man. My coil was all screwed up there. Yeah, her coil was all unlevel. I'm like, you gotta get your coil flat. She's like, I heard it either way. That is, that's fantastic. Congrats, babe, you're first. Yes. Okay, so Jessica right there is where her machine is. She goes, she yells to me, I'm over here. And she goes, I've got an 86 signal. And as I'm walking to her, she goes, oh wait, I found it. It's right on top of the ground. And she's like, oh, I think it's a mercury dime. She walks over to me and I go, no, 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 no. That is for sure a cap bust 1832 half dime, I believe. And I started to spray it to make sure before I wiped it the rest of the way. Yeah, this should come off without scratching it too bad. Yep, 5C right there, five cents. I mean, how do you feel about that, babe? 1832 cat bus. I've only ever found two half dimes, and Jessica just found one. Unbelievable. And, and, and it was, we can probably see where she was moving the dirt, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that's how deep it was. It was sit literally on the surface. She was like, it sounds loud. Oh, I just, I, I can't, be I, I told her she needs to go sit in the truck. <laughs> that is just crazy. 1832 half or cap bust half dime and i mean 
I mean, look, that is full liberty on there. I mean, you can, I mean, that is all the details you want to see on this coin. I'm going to get it cleaned up the rest of the way and we'll, we'll definitely see it in the wrap up. Awesome, babe. Congratulations. Jessica called me over to dig her another hole and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. And there it is right there. My guess is some type of buckle. Hoping, hoping colonial. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I think, yep. Beautiful. That is a little, either a shoe buckle or a knee buckle. And it is complete besides the chafe in the middle. Oh yeah, can we see the, oh yeah, yeah. And the sun comes out. Right there, that is pretty cool, babe, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice find, that's great. We're right up here on the mound. Uh, the truck is right down over there, but we're right here on the mound uh, where the home site uh, most likely was. Tons of iron in here. Uh, right there, if you can see the disturbance in the grass, that's where Joe and I got into a pit, a trash pit. There's one there, and there's like two or three others right around here. We left them marked in deep signals, but awesome, babe. That's a great find. Colonial uh, women's shoe buckle be my guess. Perhaps a knee buckle just because of the size, but awesome find. Ooh, yeah, so uh, Jessica has stopped. Her arm was starting to bother her. She doesn't swing as much as, as I do, that's for sure, but she'll get the hang of it. Uh, just popped this guy. It's been a few minutes since a target. See if we can get that to focus. There we go, where we pop this. Some type of, looks like some type of little old, oh yeah, look at that. Nice little old little uh, brass buckle. That's neat. I just dug a uh, apothecary weight. Let me toss that back in there and I'll show you guys uh, what we found so far today. But here's what I just found a few minutes ago. And I don't know if I brought you guys along for the scissors. Part of the scissors and they're pretty fancy. That was by the uh, all the colonial iron spot over there. And a bunch of buttons and Jessica got this uh, US uh, insignia pretty cool bunch of little flat buttons but I'm hoping for another silver down in here I've got about another hour I can swing so hopefully fingers crossed all right we will call that quits to the end of the day oh I don't know how much we filmed Jessica pretty much stopped digging shortly after lunch but we had a good day right babe yes we did. she got to meet the owners that was cool so we got found some more black glass and some and some uh, bunch of pottery and this is the back to a either a makeup compact or maybe a back of a pocket watch maybe makeup thing it's pretty big and here's all the stuff jessica found she got a nice little couple of old buckles a button right here a little tiny old a little uh horse tack right there this uh nice it's probably world war one buffalo nickel i got a piece of the scissors uh, nice tom back there at the end I just found. One of the last things I found today. A uh, piece of harmonica reed, a couple buckles, bunch of little buttons, and this little cuff button is pretty neat. Shank intact. A lot of the shanks here are intact, which is pretty cool. Apothecary weight is pretty neat. And then, of course, I found what I'm pretty sure is another chunk of cob. It sure looks like it. Maybe, maybe a piece of... Um, a bigger coin not exactly sure definitely silver definitely worn i have to look closer at it later and of course jessica killed it with the nice big piece i think that might be from a four real i don't think it's from a two it's very big uh and then this coin which we're gonna have to loop later and look at closely it's about the size of a virginia half penny but i'm not seeing much of any detail and then of course as far as I'm concerned, one of the best finds of the day, right on the surface, it wasn't under, she said that it was clean on the face and the back had dirt because it was facing the sky, which is just absolutely crazy, but that's awesome, half dime. But yeah, so we're gonna call it quits from here, from one of our newest spots. And thanks again for joining us and uh, see you next time, my friends. Don't forget to fill in all your holes and take your trash with you. Bye-bye.